Hi, it's Dr. Steve Weiner, facial plastic surgeon from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. As many of you know, I'm a huge advocate for using cannulas during filler injections for the safety. And there never has been a really good study until recently about comparing cannulas versus needle for injection safety. So I'm going to go through this study that was published in the JAMA Dermatology in December 2020. Its lead author was Dr. Alam. And you'll notice that there are other authors in there that you recognize, such as Dr. Jones, as well as Dr. Jeffrey Dover. So what did they do? They surveyed 370 dermatologists who are all board certified and who practice focused on injecting fillers. The injections were between 2008 and 2018. They were randomly picked from attendees of the 2018 Controversies and Conversations in Laser and Cosmetic Surgery as well as members of the ASDS in 2019. The mean years in practice was a whopping 22 years. 1.7 million syringes were injected by these 370 dermatologists. So they asked them about their occlusion rates. So the fillers that were surveyed were hyaluronic acid, PLLA, PMMA, and calcium hydroxyapatite. So the ratings of the severities of the occlusions were no long-term sequelae, healed with scarring, or resulted in eye injury or blindness. So how many occlusions were there in this survey? There were 106 occlusions in these 370 doctors, which gave them a rate of 28.6% of the doctors had one occlusion. Now, several of the doctors had more than one occlusion, some up to five occlusions. So what was the conclusion of the study? The filler risk associated with occlusion using cannulas was 77% lower than using needles. The injectors with greater than five years experience of injecting fillers had a 70% decreased risk of occlusions as well. 75% of the injections were using needles and 25% were using cannulas. So the areas of occlusion, about half the areas of occlusion were either the nasal labial folds or lips. The gabella nose and cheeks were the next most common. The nose and forehead were more common with cannula than using the needle. So severity, as discussed before, no sequelae after the occlusion. 84% in needles and 92% with cannulas. So even if they got occluded, the cannulas were a bit better outcome. Scarring, the needles had a 14% scarring rate after an occlusion, the cannulas had none. Eye injury, there were two when using the needle and one when using the cannula. The areas for the eye injury were the nose, forehead, and lips. Most scarring, was associated with injections in the jawline, chin, and gabella. Filler type, most of the occlusions were HA, but most of the injections were HA as well. There were no occlusion with cannulas for calcium hydroxyapatite or PLLA. Only PMMA occlusions were with a cannula. There was one of those. One occlusion per 6,410 syringes when using a needle. And when using a cannula, it was one per 40,882. So a significant difference between 6,000 and 40,000. So there are going to be critics regarding this study. Only dermatologists were included. If you included the whole spectrum of physicians or even nurse injectors injecting, the results might be different. The trends are also changing. More people are using cannulas these days than back in 2008. It is not audited, so it's possible that the results are underreported. Perhaps some occlusions weren't even picked up. Some of these occlusions can get better on their own without any therapy. And a retrospective analysis is never as good as a prospective analysis. But my conclusion is this. This is the biggest study we know comparing needles to cannulas, and it's the best thing that we have to rest our hat on. The occlusion rate of one per about 6,000 is consistent with one other study by Dr. Leone Shekely in Amsterdam. So it is kind of in the ballpark. So my conclusion over the last 10 years is consistent with the results we see in this study, that cannulas are safer than needles.